a reading from 1 John 4. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. By this is love perfected with us, so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment, because as he is, so also are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In today's epistle and gospel texts, we are invited to reflect on the coming day of judgment. Now, as we live our normal lives, it's sobering to be reminded of the fact that the whole world will one day come to an abrupt end. We will all have to stand before God, either on the last day or when we die. That can be a fearful thought, for who can stand before a holy and righteous God. Jesus shows us the error of living in unrepentance and worldly comfort with no regard for other people whom God has made in his own image. And John writes that if anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And what does it mean to hate a brother? It means to treat others with contempt and neglect. It means to do evil and fail to do good. So, for example, not only are we not to physically harm others, but we are also to defend and nurture life. We have a responsibility to care for the unborn, for children, for the elderly, and for all who need our help. Or to take a different example, Not only are we not to lie or slander, but we are to protect the reputations of others in kindness and truth. So, when we consider all the evil we have done and all the good we have left undone, it's quite natural for us to fear God's judgment. Yet, John writes... There is no fear in love. And he goes on to say that we love because God first loved us. Now, this love is not some distant feeling God has for us, but something concrete. God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For in this way, God loved the world, that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So, this is very important. When we think about judgment day, when we will have to stand before God and either be judged righteous or unrighteous, We should not understand it as some day of uncertainty in the future. Rather, we look back in time to the cross. For there we find God's 
judgment of the world. The sins of you and me and the whole world were put on Christ and he was judged in our place. So the judgment has already occurred on the cross, but will find its conclusion on the last day. Then the Lord will separate us as sheep and goats. Therefore, there is no condemnation or fear of judgment for those who are in Christ. For if he who judges the world bore your sins, who then can accuse you? If God is for us, who can be against us? No one. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus.